In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create dynamic templates in DocuSign that will save you time and make your documents look professional. But before we talk about dynamic documents, let's talk about what a static document is. A static document like this accredited application form is called static because it has predefined placeholders for the variable text. This is where you will add your DocuSign fields, for example. And talking about fields, in static documents, the number and location of fields will remain in the exact same location, regardless of the character length that will make up whatever text you need to put in those fields. And so the length of the document will never change. They will always be the same number of pages. I mean, it's called static for a reason, right? But in dynamic documents, like this author letter prepared for a candidate, the location of the variable text, such as the job description, the pay rate, the start date, will vary for each letter because it varies for each candidate. This is because there is no fixed location for these variables. So the character length of one variable will always affect the location of the next variable on the page. For example, in this letter, if the position title was 20 characters longer, then the start date and the rest of the text will be pushed to the following lines. And if the position description was very, very long, maybe some of the text will move to the following page as well. And if this happens, the signature block and the DocuSign field will move to the next page. And that's exactly why we are calling this document a dynamic document, because the structure always changes. And this will affect the location of the DocuSign fields, and of course will affect the way that you are going to set up your DocuSign template. Now, if you're not using a template, you can just drag and drop the field each time you upload your document inside of DocuSign, but we don't want to do that each time. That would be very annoying. And so this tutorial will show you how to set things up in a way that you don't have to do that each time you want to send a dynamic document for signature. Now that you understand the difference between a static document and a dynamic one, here's how to create your first DocuSign dynamic template. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Sofian Saudi. I'm an ex DocuSign employee and now founder of SolarSign Consulting. Since 2019, we've helped thousands of companies like yours automate document related tasks in their sales, onboarding, and even recruitment workflows by building templates, databases, and integrations for our clients. So if you're tired of fighting documents and manual tasks alone, you can find the link in the description of this video to book a strategy session with one of our DocuSign automation consultants. But if you prefer to do things on your own, I strongly suggest that you download our free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet because it will help you start using DocuSign in the right way. Now let's go back to learning how to create your first DocuSign dynamic template. So we'll start in Word and not in DocuSign because yes, your dynamic documents will not be prepared in DocuSign directly. You'll either have to create them in Word or Google Docs before you upload them to DocuSign. And this is because DocuSign is not a document generation tool. You need to rely on a word processing software like the ones that I've just mentioned. Or maybe you're already using a document generation tool like DocuPilot that automatically integrates with DocuSign and allows you to generate and send your documents for signature automatically or just at a click of one button. If that sounds great and you want to learn more about this, just stay until the end of the video or watch you how this works. So once you're in your Word document template, you want to go to the signature block of your document. And we're going to add something called an anchor text. An anchor text is a string of text that DocuSign will use as a reference to know where to add DocuSign field automatically on your document. And this is why we're talking about a dynamic template and on the static template. In a static template, your fields don't move. In a dynamic template, your field will follow the right location. They will just adjust to whatever text you add to the document. Let me show you. So for example here, so I'm just going to add something like this is my anchor. And because I don't want my recipients to see my anchor, I'm going to change the font color to white. This means that DocuSign will be able to pick it up, but the recipients won't see it. The last thing that you want to do, which is by the way, completely optional, will still save you a couple of clicks each time you want to upload your document inside of DocuSign, is to add some text in white in your header and footer. So for example, here, I've got a sentence, or I, would, I should say, spaceless sentence. Let me just make it black for a second. 
it says this is a dynamic document template and i've got exactly the same thing here it's just hidden in white the reason i'm doing this is because this will help docusign instantly recognize which dynamic template because you may have a few you'll want to apply on the document that you are uploading in docusign so that docusign knows what fields it should add to the document what you want to make sure is that the paragraph or the string of words or whatever it is that you put in your header and footer is the same and that it's at least 25 characters long and you want to paste it in both your header and your footer our template is now ready we can save this and go to DocuSign to create a DocuSign template so I'm going to start in my templates tab click new and create template I'm gonna name my template dynamic template I just named my template and uploaded my word template that I was just working on I'm going to add my candidate as the first signer and then I'm going to add myself as the second signer let's just say that under HR in this example I'm not going to worry about customizing the email subject and message or any other options for the purpose of this video. So I'm just going to click on next. And on this page, this is where I'm going to add my field. I'm now going to grab all the fields that I need for my candidate. So I want the signature, the name, as well as the date. And I'm going to do the same thing for myself, for the HR. I'm going to select those fields and do command Z, which duplicates my fields and change the ownership of those fields to myself, the HR. Now that I've got all the fields that I want on my document, I'm going to select each field, open the locations tab and click on setup in my auto place little section. And here I'm going to go back to my anchor and I don't actually remember what I've used. I'm going to copy this text that's right here. And it says, this is my anchor. So let's click on apply and see if DocuSign can find it. So you see my signature field has now moved exactly where the word, this is my anchor was placed. If I look to the right, I have a number of pixels from the left and from the top. This is because DocuSign is measuring how far the field should be in relation to the anchor. I'm going to move my DocuSign field back to where I want it to be. And you're going to see that my pixels from the left and top will get updated. So those are now different values. And I'm going to do the same thing basically for all my fields. Unfortunately, I can't do this for multiple fields at once. So I just need to do it for all of them. And of course, I've used the same anchor for all my fields. I don't need to use a different anchor for different fields or different recipients. Now that AutoPlace is set up, DocuSign will know where to place my fields even if my signature block moves on to the next page or if it moves up it doesn't matter okay i'm going to save and close my template and now we're going to prepare an offer letter for a candidate myself so that we can test that our template is working properly to the left of the page you can see that i've created this demo employment offer it contains it has all the variables filled out it has my name my address it has a position title a start date it also has two pages you can see to the right that my offer letter word template only has one page that's the one we've been working on since the beginning of the video now let's see what DocuSign does after I upload my demo employment offer. To use your dynamic template, what you need to do is to click on start and send an envelope. Don't click on use a template. I know it's confusing, but this is how it is. I've selected the offer letter that's filled out and I'm gonna click on open. Automatically DocuSign offers me to apply a dynamic template. So I'm going to click on apply and it now says that my template was added successfully. It's added the candidate, and the HR recipient placeholders. I'm just going to put myself as the candidate for now and click on next. Now let's see. Now the next thing we need to check is that my fields are in the right location. So if we go to the second page, we can see that my fields are perfectly located. And this is what's really cool about a dynamic template in DocuSign. Now this was a bit faster than usual because our template matched. In case the document that you've uploaded in DocuSign doesn't match against a template you've already created, just click on the three dots and apply template and then browse for the template that you want to apply manually. The result will be exactly the same, it's just that it's costing you a few clicks, which is why it's better to add those headers and footers in white color as well so that DocuSign knows which template to match and it's saving it and it's still saving you a few clicks. Let me now show you the best way I've found to use dynamic template instead so that you never have to do this manual work ever again. Instead of creating a document in Word and uploading it manually to DocuSign, you can create a document template in a software called DocuPilot. You can find the link to sign up for DocuPilot for a free account in the description of the video. But basically what DocuPilot does is that it acts as the glue between wherever you have your data, whether it's your CRM, your ERP, or your HR system, and DocuSign. So for instance here, now showing you the DocuPilot template. So this is just how DocuPilot looks, but you never actually 
actually need to log in inside of it. But you can see I've got my document template and then I have a DocuSign delivery, which is integrated with my DocuSign account. You don't need to worry about this for now, but let me show you how this works. For example, let's say that I want to send an offer letter to this candidate here, Dan Jimenez. I want to generate the offer letter and I want to send the signature through to DocuSign automatically without me having to do much. I simply need to click on Dan's name and then here select which template I want to apply and click on create one document and instantly DocuPilot has created the document. You can see it's appeared here and it's also sent it for signature through to DocuSign because I've configured a DocuSign delivery inside of my DocuPilot template. Pretty cool, right? Again, you can sign up for, Doc for a free DocuPilot account using the link below and you also have a 10% off if you decide to become a paid customer using the code SOLOSIGN10. So while this is beyond the scope of this video, I can also try the signature status of my candidate in here and once this the offer letter will be signed it will sync back inside of my database and this is really powerful because i don't need to waste time creating my document in word uploading it to docusign set up my fields or having to worry about matching the right template this was just a preview of what's possible once you integrate docusign with your backend systems in the next video i will show you how we use docupilot here at solisign to automatically generate our sales contract and send them false signature to our clients using DocuSign at a click of one button only. As always, you can book a consultation with one of our automation consultants if you need help setting up an automated workflow for your business. Our services include templates, databases, and integration development to help you automate more of your paperwork. I will see you in the next one. Ciao.